people are just different here. We moved here from Gwinnett County. Oh, Gwinnett? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, and you said 20 years ago? Mm, probably 20, 25. Uh, no, well, a Amber graduated in 2000. Oh, okay. So, uh, and she's my daughter. Oh, okay. So, that's, uh, I have to be doing something. No, I I, do, do it's, at the same time. this is your work, so. Uh, so, <laughs> don't let me, I'm, I am paying attention. Yeah. Um, so, I guess we've been up here uh, probably about 25 years. Okay. Um, so, in the opening questions, we're going to go over the type of home you're in. Um, we already said you're an owner. And um, what type of structure it is and the date you moved in. So, um, what type of um, home do you live in? I live in a double wide. Okay. And the date you moved in? Oh, gosh. I don't know. March. 25 years ago. Okay. What year was that? Would have been 2000, maybe 1995. Okay. Have you, uh, and you kind of answered this for me already, but officially, have you always lived in Livonia? No. And where were you before that? Gwinnett. Gwinnett. And were you raised in Gwinnett? No. No? So, and um, tell me how your family um, ended up living in Livonia. I don't even know how to go there. Uh, <laughs> my daughter was very sick, oh, and no. she was very wild, and I just needed to get away from it. Yeah. Maybe for emotional reasons. Okay. Um, I mean, she was wild. My daughter died um, after I moved up here. Oh, she had no. AIDS. Oh, I'm so sorry. And um, where we lived, it was just crazy. She's on drugs and blah, 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 so. Mm. That's, that's why I moved. Tough. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's I just couldn't handle hearing it every day. It was something every day. I ran, probably, is what I did. Oh. And you've been, you, you like to hear. Mm hmm Yeah, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's awful. Um, well, it's a long time ago, and, and it's okay. I told you I'm spiritual, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we die. Mm -hmm. um, have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility company? I have a solar light in my hallway. Okay. Um, did you have it installed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, tell me why you decided to have them have it installed. Well, because my house was leaking. And nobody could ever fix it. So, um, uh, the girl that was going to fix it had one of the panels. And that's why I had it put in. Okay. Now, is that something that you own or do you have to lease it? The Oh, no, I own it. You own it. I bought it. Okay. About 500 bucks, but at least I got my <laughs> leak fixed in my house. Yeah. He's pretty happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, now, tell me why... You do not have um, rooftop solar panels. Money. Money for affordability of. Mm -hmm. Now is that to um, get them installed or the the products themselves or just all overall in general? Overall in general. And is that a decision um, that was made for you, or did you make that decision not to have them installed? Oh, I made the decision. Okay. I mean, I'd like to if I had the money. Mm-hmm. Um, you kind of answered that question. If you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Tell me why you would. Well, because it's more economical, I feel. And it's better. It's just better for the country. And so, if you had the option, the option would be if they were more affordable, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have any, um, issues with how they look or anything like that? Does that bother you at all? Mm -mm. No. Um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about rooftop solar adoption in general. So we're going to take a look at the maps. All right, here's a map of the United States. Sorry, I don't want to get in your way. Oh, no, you're good. Map of the United States. Where do you think people adopt or invest in the most solar? Could you draw this on the map? And it can be multiple places. You can circle. I would say California. Okay, circle. 
Um, people are just smarter over here, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, no right or wrong answer here. So okay. <laughs> That's the good thing about it. Mm, I got some friends in South Carolina. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. What part? My daughter lives in Anderson. Oh, really? Yeah, she has some solar on her house. How about those four? Okay. Now, um, I'm going to ask you questions about what you circled. What makes this community um, different from people in um, Livonia? Probably education. Education. I think that's Oregon, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. What about um, California? I would say all of them are education. So all these three yeah. are more education. Yeah. What kind of people live in these communities that are adopting or investing in solar? Younger people. Younger. Mm -hmm. More educated. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what about South Carolina or this area here in South Carolina? What makes this people I don't here? Know. Okay. <laughs> Do you have an idea of what kind of people live in the communities that like that you see? Did you say your daughter has in she has, has a few. Has a few? Yeah, she's got a great big house, so she only has a few on her, the top of her house. Like maybe in the bathroom. Kind of like me. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, I've got mine in the hallway, and it lights up my whole, ba my whole bathroom, actually. Wow. And my hall, you know, because they're right there together. Yeah. So. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Um... We're going to do the same for Georgia. What, um, in what community do you think people have adopted the most solar? And it can be more than one. I would say around Atlanta. Same reason. And I guess because I live here and people here are just uninformed. That's a nice way of putting it. Uh, maybe around Savannah, too. I don't know which one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no, it's hard without the, yeah. the names of the counties. I'd say maybe, maybe even Athens. Maybe they're more educated down there. I think it's an education thing. Hello. So do I need to do any more or no? Um, no, you can just tell me um, what, you, what makes these communities different is they're more educated. Okay. Uninformed. Okay, and the people that live in, what kind of people are adopting these? Is there a particular group of people you think are adopting in these areas that you have checked? I think it's education. Education overall. Okay. I mean, I just, I just know the same thing with herbs and stuff. You know, when people figure it out that it's, it's easier and it works. When I moved here, we had, um, um, you know, we had us in this town. We've got like twenty five hundred people, maybe twenty six, something like that. And, you know, in the census, and all these doctors were opening these clinics and moving here. And I'm thinking, why? Mm -hmm. That's why people just don't trust their self. They're not educated. They don't. They just run to the doctor and run to the doctor. It's been an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. How have you overcome that? Or Deal with that. I just keep on handing out these papers, <laughs> telling people. Kind of your form of education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when people see that something works, they end up coming. Honey, I'm 71 years old. I don't take no drugs. Yeah. Wow. And so I'm an example. No, I'm not bragging. I'm just stating the fact. No, that's a no. That's a say. I mean, that's advertising right there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um. What about your close friends here in Livonia? Um, do they have solar? And anybody, um, why do you think they don't have solar? Uninformed. Okay. Have you had it um, accessible? Like, have you find that if you wanted to get it, is it accessible to find a person to talk to? Or, um, Well, I don't know that I've ever really sought it out. Mm-hmm. Um, to know of anybody that does. Now, we had somebody that, uh, did you notice when you were coming in from South Carolina, did you come in this way? Mm-hmm, mm hmm There's a big bunch mm -hmm. of panels over there. So we have that here. I don't know who that's for. Somebody told me it was for um, 
if if we were to have some kind of attack or something that the police would have access to solar interesting is that true i don't know i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's true or not that's just what somebody told me huh actually my son-in-law stopped there and asked was that true i mean ask why Uh uh-huh and that's what the person putting it in said oh okay is that true i don't know interesting no I i have no idea um but that, I guess if, like, power, the grid or something got cut off or something, that's what mm-hmm. they're interesting. Um, so bes- you said your daughter has solar. Um, mm-hmm. I know she's not in this community. She's in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, what made, do you think, made their family want to adopt solar um, or install what they have in their house? Uh, probably finances. Mm-hmm. It was a little cheaper. I mean, it's cut down on They got a huge house. Excuse me. So it's cut down on their power. Okay. And they've, they've had success with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good to hear. Um, what about, um, do you know anybody in the community besides the, the place we talked about coming outside? Do you know anybody that has rooftop solar here in the community? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't mean that it isn't. It's just I don't know it. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, you're not seeing it. As you pass through town, you're not seeing it on places. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. So, um, I know um, over the phone you talked about um, that a lot of people are frustrated with Georgia Power Mm -hmm. and they're doing a petition um, Mm -hmm. because power bills are not, the metering is off or something. That's what I think. Yeah. They they do that smart meter, which just cut, you know, jobs out. And Oh, yeah, you need to leave my little letter I wrote. It's from um, um, Chris. Um, who is it that's always doing things about? Um, I can see the word. I uh, just can't read it. <laughs> um, I used to belong to him. I guess I rely on that computer too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> we all rely on. I know. I, know right? I rely on technology too I know, much. I know. So. I know. If I can't think of something, I'll just put a word in there and it'll pop up. And I go, oh yeah, that's it. Um, now, I know you said you talked to you did a survey with the Sierra Club. Sierra Club. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Trying to think of. Yes. <laughs> and you were talking about um, why did you want to contribute? Like I'm, I just want to kind of get your perception. You perceive. I know this has nothing to do with rooftop solar, but there's kind of a your power bill, like something. There's a distrust in your um, your with power that, bill. with that uh, smart meter. Smart metering. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think some adopting solar would help? Would that be a reason why you would adopt? I guess solar rooftop solar to kind of be able to control it, control it, or mm-hmm. wanting to be. Yeah, and you know, I think it's an age thing with me. I just why is that? Because uh, you don't know this, but the older you get, the more you feel like you don't have as much control. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's it. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't know that, but I do know I'm kind of a control freak. Well, you own a you own a business. You have to be somewhat of a. <laughs> I, I've been set and board all my life. Though. Yeah. All my entire life, I've never had a public job. Yeah. Except maybe when I was in school. Um, no, that's, so. that's a probably a great trait to have. Um, so, when you were talking to the Sierra Club, it was more just, there's a petition going on in, to petition Georgia Power, is mm-hmm. what you're telling me. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, I don't know. Well, that, uh, you know, they've got that uh, plant Vogel which they've been working on for God knows as long as I can remember. And and they just keep throwing money in it. It's coal-powered. Is it? Mm-hmm. And, um, and they're just, it seems like to me they're just throwing, you know, good money after bad. Uh-huh. And that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's all we want here. So that's the, <laughs> that's the great thing about this interview. <laughs> We 
just want your opinion. Um, and that's something that's going on in Georgia. Only said the Vogel project, mm -hmm. and it's it plant hit, Vogel. Plant Vogel. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, I haven't. I don't know any about that, so I, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so you've had a lot of success with the the petition. Do you know if they're doing anything? I don't know. They said they had to have you know so many, and yeah, they're a lot of people are dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. You'll probably hear that tonight. Mm -hmm. With Georgia Power, mm -hmm. with the smart metering, or everything in general that's going Maybe on. Maybe everything it. in general. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah. yeah. I just know we pay too much. I think. Right. Well, I talked to a person, and um, she was really frustrated because her power bill seemed to go from 70 to 400, and she keeps it like, she says, you know, she works 12 hours a day. She's not really, you know, they unplug things, and she couldn't figure out. She was interested in solar, um, which there is, I have had probably half and half people tell me if they're interested or not. You know, like, um, some people don't want it, you know, they're not interested in it, they don't like it. Um, but she was just saying just that inconsistency every month, not knowing of what her bill is going to be. Wow. That's a huge jump. So, yeah. So that was, hmm. that was shocking yeah. for me. So that is, that is a lot. Now mine has always been, I've gone back, mm -hmm. you know, I've gone back and looked at my bill mm -hmm. and nothing changed. I mean, this, uh, we can see. Mm -hmm. had a hole in the roof um but it, it's all fixed it's mm -hmm. all been fixed but my power bill was the same when i had 100 year old windows and now i've got you know oh, yeah, you have you have windows it's same the bill is the same so you know they got to be doing something but who are you going to go to right you know you don't have anybody else to go to mm -hmm. so um um, I, I don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Right. With who you get your power from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do? Do without it? Mm -hmm. Buy a generator and you got to put gas in that. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, would you do something, would you like that freedom to be like off the grid? grid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually be in control of right, when you get on it and when you get off it. And I don't understand why other people wouldn't. Yeah. I think it's because they don't trust it. Mm hmm They don't trust that it'll always be there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you could store it up, I mean, my goodness, we've had tons of sun lately. Oh, gosh, we haven't seen a cloud, have we? <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. I, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable how we haven't had any uh, clouds in the sky. Mm-hmm. So... Um, well, that's all the questions that I have. I thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and, um, you know, sorry to probe into the, I, I just over the phone, that was interesting to hear about the, you know, the petition because that's, that's something I haven't heard or anything. Well, that would yet. be good, you mm -hmm. know, um, I don't know how many people, um, see, I've been a member of the Sierra Club for long time because mm -hmm. I feel like this has been coming for a long time do you have a local group of people that participate or you just kind of do it at a distance uh, actually um, well, I should have put Georgia in there maybe. Um, but see they're out in San Francisco <laughs> my boy um <laughs> So I was probably right on the money in California. <laughs> I didn't know they were in California, by the way. But I would just think that because um, I, don't, I don't really know how to go to the Georgia thing. You know, sometimes they'll pop up a thing there that says um, how how your uh, petition is going. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. How many more signatures and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know how to go there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I know. I could maybe look back over here where it says, no, don't say that about what I'm looking for. You know, <laughs> just pop that in there and it'll go. Um, 
it'll tell you what's going on in Georgia. It's probably going on all over the country. Yeah. I've heard of different um, branches, but, I, you know, like, I didn't know if there was a group of people here, you know, in town that you know that. No. 